So what is a land trust and how will it benefit you? A land trust is a document that we create that allows you to hold property privately so your name does not appear in the public records. Hi, I'm the business guy. I'm the CEO of Lawyers Limited and Asset Protection Planners, the nation's largest asset protection firm. And I personally set up thousands of land trusts for our clients. And if you like this video, please record it in the public records by clicking the like button below to tell me and YouTube that I should make more videos like this. You can also click the subscribe button and notification bell so that when more videos come out like this, you'll get notified right away. Let's say you got into a car wreck. You have a million dollars of insurance, but you hit a stockbroker and you get sued for three million. If you own your house and investment properties in your own name, the lawyer suing you will easily find your house and any other properties in the public records. If you own a home, it shows you have some financial stability and the lawyer will be much more likely to file the suit, especially if the attorney is on a contingent fee basis like most accident attorneys are. So the opposing attorney can immediately have the sheriff pull up in front of your house, bang on your door while you're eating dinner, and hand you a lawsuit in front of all your neighbors. However, when you have your house in a land trust, your ownership is hidden. Your land trust does not have to be filed in the public records. It keeps your ownership private so nobody knows you own the house but you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. So what is a land trust? The land trust has four components. Number one is the settler. And that is you because you're the one having somebody create the trust. Number two is the trustee. This kind of trust limits the trustee's control under the terms of the trust. For the trustee, we typically set up a Wyoming LLC for our client. We add nominee service to the LLC so the client's name does not appear publicly. The trustee of the land trust can also be a sister, an in-law, a trusted friend, or family member. But to enhance your privacy, it's usually best to choose a company or somebody without your last name. Now, all trusts need a trustee, but with this kind of trust, the trust dictates the range of control. Now, number three is the beneficiary. That is the one who receives all of the benefits of the trust. And that's you or one or more individuals or companies which you designate. Now, the settler control that you have gives you the right to direct when the property is bought or sold, change the beneficiaries, and so on. In addition, the settler is the one who can decide to refinance the property and collect the rental income for investment properties. Finally, number four is the corpus of the trust. The corpus is the capital or principal items of value within the trust, such as the home where you live or a rental property. Now, the great thing is that all the top tax benefits remain intact. With a properly structured trust, when you sell your house, the tax benefits remain. For example, under current tax law, if you've resided in the home for two out of the last five years, you don't have to pay taxes on the profits when you sell up to $250,000 for a single person or $500,000 for a married couple when structured properly. So what you've achieved is privacy of ownership. What will the lender say? The Garn St. Germain Depository Institutions Act of 1982 specifically allows one to place one's property into this type of land trust to which we were referring without triggering the due on sale clause. Garn and St. Germain were two congressmen. They were total nerds. They wore glasses. Oh, I guess I wore glasses. Doesn't trigger the due on sale clause means that one can transfer mortgaged property to a land trust without interference from the bank. This is the case as long as the borrower remains a beneficiary. The property consists of fewer than five dwelling units and the trust is revocable and does not convey the rights of occupancy to others. Where can I use a land trust? People use land trusts in all 50 states. Some state statutes do not make specific reference to a land trust, but people use them in all states. Some people make the mistake of saying, oh, well, land trusts aren't mentioned in the laws of my state so they aren't legal. Well, where are the laws that say that somebody can wear red shoes, recline in a sofa, drink from a curly straw? Not everything we do is codified in the law books. Common law, as opposed to statutory law, is how the law and other common practices have been interpreted and commonly accepted over the years. Trusts are part of common law that has been generally accepted over the centuries unless there are statutory laws against them. And there are no laws as of this writing in any of the 50 states that run contrary to the use of land trusts. Now, one of our clients had a neighbor walk in the front yard of their house. She broke her ankle, suffered a blood clot, and she died. They were sued for everything they had, way more than their insurance could cover. And if they had done one thing, owned that property on a land trust, that may not have happened. It's not that the land trust eliminates the liability. It's the way we structure your land trust and nobody needs to know you have an interest in the property but you. So it's a mystery as to who the lawyer is to sue. They'd have to spend a lot of money to even find out if it's worth suing you. Plus, you can make your LLC the beneficiary of that land trust to absorb the liability instead of you personally. 
Here's a personal story. I bought my first income property in the state of Washington in my 20s. This is before I was in the asset protection business, by the way. It was a rundown six unit apartment building. I hired a contractor to fix it up. The contractor turned out to be a con artist. I got into a legal battle that lasted four years and cost me $157,000. That's over $400,000 in today's money. If I had done only one thing, and that's owned the property in a land trust and had an LLC as the beneficiary instead of in my own name, that probably wouldn't have happened. But instead, the opponent saw that I owned a home, that I owned investment property, so they decided to sue. So your land trust owning your property can give you privacy to protect you from losing your own home, your car, your bank account, and having 25% of your future your income garnished for the next 20 years. And again, it alone is not an asset protection device. Its purpose is to shield your real estate from prying eyes. Rather than holding title in your real estate in your own name, it provides a barrier between you and those who do not have your best interest in mind. Thus, it can decrease the chance that a lawsuit will be filed against you in the first place. If you want more information or if you want to set up a land trust, you can call us at the number below or fill out a free consultation form on our website. After your order, what we do is we email you a link to our online land trust questionnaire. You complete the questionnaire, which notifies us once it's complete. Your documents will be prepared. Then we create the land trust, which is approximately 12 pages. You keep this in your filing cabinet at home or in a safe deposit box. We also prepare the grant deed transferring the property from your name to the trust. So you'll record this document in the county recorder's office in the county where the property is located. Then there's the assignment of beneficial interest document. This transfers the beneficial interest of your property to a company, a person, a living trust, and that's also included. So that's the land trust. Please click like, subscribe, and share this video with others. Thanks for watching. This is the business guy.